Hey everyone, it's Jenny from jccards.com. Thanks for stopping by. My video today is part of a video hop, and the next stop on the hop can be found in the details below this video. It's part of the All the Trimmings new release from Catherine Pooler Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to create this cute winter scene using one of the new dies from the release, the Snow Globe die. You can use this die set to create a snow globe scene, but I'm going to use just the reindeer and the tree dies from the set today to create a, a slightly different look. I'm starting off with two A2 size panels of white cardstock. The panel that you see on my craft mat is Premium White by Catherine Pooler, and the piece that I'm cutting here is just a scrap piece of cardstock uh, trimmed to the same size. And then using my scissors to cut a curve into the cardstock to create the look of a hill. Uh, you can have a few goes at this, so you, as you saw the first time I wasn't particularly happy with it. Uh, and I'm just going to lay that panel down onto the craft mat over the A2 panel and use it as a mask for when I do my ink blending. I haven't adhered it down, but you could of course use some temporary adhesive uh, to do that if you're not happy about holding it in place uh, while you do your blending. So I've blended down from the top and then I'm gently blending up from the top of the hills. Uh, you you want to go more heavy on the side that's actually touching the mask itself and then just flick up and then join them together with the blending tool in the middle to get a smooth sky as you see here. I've then flipped the mask over and I'm gently doing the same thing, flicking up from off the card just very, very gently to give a subtle indication of a hill uh, in the snow. I've then trimmed out the cardstock again, I'm just using the same pieces to create another slightly different hill and I'm flicking up again. I, again, I haven't adhered this down. It makes it easier to flip over the mask, but as it gets smaller and smaller, it gets a little more tricky to hold down, as you'll see in a, in a second. And I'm just adding one more layer, and you can see I've just only added a slight hint of blue along the edge, so it's not super, super um, dark, and it just gives the hint of, of uh, shadows in, the, in snowy hills. That looks pretty cool. I'm then going to bring in some depth in the sky itself, so I'm using Daydream by Catherine Pooler. And I've left my ink blending pad on another tool which still has the stone blue on it. And you'll see why in a second. So I'm, I'm blending down from the top with the Daydream. I'm just using a bit of scrap cardstock to avoid going over onto the white hills. And then before I finish, I'll go back in with the stone blue, whatever's left on the blending tool, just to make it a little bit more seamless. And then to darken the sky a little bit more, I'm using Blackjack by Catherine Paula, and I'm bringing it down again from the top, and then I'll use the blending tool that still has the Daydream foam pad on it, and I'll just blend back up again to get a nice smooth blend across the sky. I've die cut the reindeer and the tree from the die set from Catherine Paula Premium White cardstock, the same as I use for my card base, and I'm gently tapping Sand Castle ink with my mini ink blending tool over the top. You could try and blend onto them, but they're a little challenging, as you'll see in a minute. So I've, I've put Sandcastle on, I'm going to use Icing on the Cake, which is a darker brown, just to lightly uh, add to the edges for a little bit of dimension. I would recommend if you have any min mini ink daubers to use those rather than the uh, ink blending tool, because even though it's a mini ink blending tool, it's still pretty big uh, in comparison to these die cuts. So I nearly ripped the head off one of the reindeers, uh, just saying. So uh, if you have a dauber, I would recommend it. So I'm now remasking over the hills again, using a scrap piece of cardstock, and I'm spritzing the sky with some shimmer spritz uh, by Sukuneko and some opaque white uh, Mr. Huey's Mist. I don't think you can get that anymore, but you could mix up some white pigment ink uh, with some water and, and tap that over. Uh, and it creates the look of a shimmery night sky with snow over the hills. I'm then using the Holiday Mix stamp set from Catherine Pooler, which was uh, part of the recent stamp of approval collection. And I've added Merry and Christmas together onto an ink, uh, acrylic block. These are also by Catherine Pooler. Before I ink it up, I'm going to do some heat embossing. I'm using my powder tool uh, because some of the, whilst I have used a heat tool on the sky, some of it may still be slightly wet and we don't want the embossing powder sticking where it shouldn't. And then inking it up with embossing ink by, Vers it's Versamark by Sukuneko and uh, embossing it with 
silver embossing powder. There is a little bit that's stuck where I didn't want it and I just removed that with a small paintbrush. I'm then heating it and I will then adhere down the reindeer and the tree uh, on top of the seat, directly on top with liquid adhesive. Uh, I'd already planned out, as you saw earlier, where I wanted the pieces so that I knew where to put my sentiment. And I'm just going to adhere them down. I'm actually, it's, it's hard to see in the video, but I'm actually balancing the tree on top of the hill and then also the, the, the reindeer will also be on top of a couple of the hills. I then created a card base, top folding, and adhered down the panel directly with some dry adhesive and that completes the card. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please be sure to check out the rest of the video hop by going to the next stop on the hop in the link below. If you have enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. There's also a number of other videos where I feature Catherine Pooler's uh, other products, so check them out. And if you've enjoyed it, leave me a thumbs up, drop me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Have an awesome day. Bye.